What's going on everyone? Welcome, welcome back. And if you're new here, my name is Okie Girl, and welcome to the channel. We're going to dive right into today's video. We're back in the 4x4 sponsor tent, and we are checking in on our four beautiful girls that we have going in here. We are growing these girls organically, and we're growing them in three gallon plastic pots. In the back left, we have our keeper cut of Slurricane number seven. And in the back right, we have a Slurdy number three. This is from Burning Bush Nurseries. It is a clone. And in the front right, we have the Super Buff Cherry number 26, also a clone. And in the front left, we have the Banana Cream Sunday. That is from Atlas Seeds. And it is the only one in the tent that is from Seed. In the last episode, guys, we said we were going to give these girls a, about 10 days to recover and kind of fill out the tent a little bit more. We did take some clones to preserve these genetics and um, keep them going if we choose to. And so once we found out those clones had rooted and everything was looking good on that, it is time to get our trellis net up. We've got these girls nice and healthy. We're going to be using these little tent pole trellis clips. These are from Cannabiology. I'll leave a link for these down in the description. They're really great for putting up a trellis net. Uh, you're able to pull your net nice and tight and they slide up and down the pole, which is really great uh, to adjust that canopy height if needed. So we just go ahead and stretch our net. This is a three and a half inch square uh, trellis net. So we go ahead and stretch it out and then we're gonna pull it down just a little bit and kind of even everything out. And then once we do that, we're just gonna start working our plant back under this net, trying to really spread it out and fill as many of these squares as possible. It's not the prettiest looking thing right after you get done training, but it is very effective. It's important to do some training like this if you're going to have any kind of good PPFD range uh, evenly across your canopy. But let's check back in in just a few days. So it's been about two or three days and as you can tell everything has kind of its little head back up through the squares. Some of that uh, lower stuff is starting to grow back up where we've kind of moved some of the taller tops out of the way. and letting some of those lowers get some light so everything's looking really really good at this point um, there's not a lot to say about it we're probably day two day three of flower at this point and we're gonna go ahead and give these girls a top dressing we're using Gaia greens 444 all-purpose and we're gonna be using this at one tablespoon per gallon of media so to start we're just gonna go ahead and break up the top layer of soil here um, sometimes when these pots dry out and you go to water in if they're dry you get a nice pool of water right at the top and so when we're mixing in these nutrients we want to make sure that we are not uh, doing that we want to make sure that the nutrients are getting down into the root zone where they belong so we're going to break up the um, top layer of soil and then we're going to be adding in our dry amendments like i said we'll be using one tablespoon per gallon of media so three gallon pots we'll be using three tablespoons once we get the amendments in, we just go ahead and mix that up really good with our hands, get it all nice and even, flattened out, and then we'll be using our irrigation system to water in. The irrigation system allows us to give a nice, slow, and even watering across the media. That way we're not creating any kind of channeling uh, throughout the substrate there. So after that, all we have left for today's task is to give these girls another tucking, get them trained back up under this net. It's important for me, especially to keep a nice, even canopy for as long as I can. There does come a time when these plants will harden off and that's generally around the week three mark, sometimes a little bit before that, but you'll notice around the week three mark that they are no longer as malleable as they used to be. You can't bend them as evenly or as easily as you used to be able to. So I really try to train as much as I can throughout the first two, two and a half weeks. And then I'll give them that last half a week to week to kind of just turn up. And hopefully at that point, we don't have any real crazy stretchers. And we've got a pretty nice even canopy with about eight to 10 inches of material above the net. 
But we're going to go ahead and speed through this real quick, and then we're going to say our goodbyes. And just like that, a couple days later, they're all poked right back up through the net again. It's an endless game for the first couple of weeks, but it's kind of a fun one. Anyways, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Don't forget about my Spider Farmer discount code. It is okigrow 8 It'll save you a little bit of money at checkout. But other than that, guys, I hope you all are having a fantastic week. I hope you're all smoking on something really, really nice. And like always, guys, until next time, stay lifted.